Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Oh, oh, my so goodness. Know. Hi, Evan. So know. Look hey, at this. how are you? Georgie, Georgie Leahy, welcome back. This is your redemption episode. Yes. Do you remember <laughs> You're last on time a what full happened? Full redemption, Georgie. <laughs> You remember what, what happened last time? I'm gonna, I wait, I want to ask you because you were it. super fucked up. I don't remember. You don't remember? No, I don't remember. So you, you fell off the chair. <laughs> you put Did your you? sunglasses and boots on the table. You told all of us to fuck off. <laughs> and then on the way out the door of a rented Airbnb in Los Angeles. I pissed you, on the floor. No, close. Did you really? <laughs> You pulled up. Like you pulled up your yeah. You pulled up your top. You pressed your tits against the glass and said, "Fuck off, drinking bros." Uh, perfect. And then yeah. you were out of there into an Just Uber, a full bounce. And I remember asking Brandon Rogers, who, who's your beef fry, I go, "Is she fine to get in that Uber?" And he goes, "Oh, she gets like this every night." <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing new. <laughs> we had zero context over this actually. Yeah. No, and I so. didn't either. Well, I love that we started with something I don't remember. In case okay. the audience doesn't either, that's what happened. Now you guys are filled in. Okay. Welcome to Georgie, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Holy I'm shit. I might have one drink this time. <laughs> she won't go full Georgie. Well, that is I'm number on, two. I'm on to my second one, though. <laughs> I hope there's a bartender that can keep me going through the episode. Oh, oh we'll you're see. a bartender. I like it. <laughs> yeah. First of all, you're one of our favorite actresses. You're all in, in all of Brandon Rogers' sketches, who we love. We uh, love him. Big fan. Are you in the new series that he's doing? I am indeed. You yes. are. How is that, by the way? I heard it's like 15 minutes. It's, he's going hard. It's, it's really, really amazing. Like, I... I feel like with Brandon, I'm like, he can never get any better, and then it always does. Well, now like, he's going so long form, like, and it's fucking cool. And it's so, and it's so clever as well. Like, like, I, like, like it, it was so fun being an actor in it, is that you actually only know what you're doing for that second. You don't know everything else that's going on. So then you watch it, and you're like, oh, like, that's the context. Oh, wait, I, I you know, you just, because we... Does he he's, write the majority of that? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a yeah. brilliant writer. He's, yeah. he's, and he's great. he edits himself. Yeah, yeah. Wow. it's wow. genius. And kind, he does, like and he edits it, like, before the end of... The, so he'll, he'll film all day, and then he'll add all that stuff he's filmed that day. In the evening, he'll edit it, and then he'll do the next oh. day. And add. Like he's a, like he, he really is pod. a full-blown genius. I love, like, if I had, like, a magic lamp, I'd love to, like, have his mind for Yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or a day, I want least. Russell Crowe's. Um, All right. Because I want Russell a beautiful mind. mind? Yeah. Well, I want a beautiful mind, obviously. Ah. Um, oh, God. I don't want I'm the guy. Who's the guy in the wheelchair hawking? Um, I don't want his. Well, you he's don't dead. want Hawkins one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he, well, he's dead. Yeah, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, did they download yeah. it? You think they downloaded it before? Actually, uh, yeah. Maybe. They probably yeah. did. And then you could probably actually easily have his mind. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I want all my want mind it. downloaded. Can you imagine if you could get every little thing you've ever experienced or thought in here? Oh, God. Woo. Oh, God. That's dark. What's your dark web. What's your porn browser like? I bet your your porn history is dark. I I really, like, it's... Oh God, I don't know if I can talk about this, but I will. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, um, so I like a while back, I I, I dated Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Really? Whilst he was writing Don John. No shit. So this movie came out, and I'm like, like a lot of things like came back into my brain of uh, the experience of our relationship or whatever it was. It was when he was in England, um, and I realised that I'd never watched porn. So f I by the way, I never ever watched it. So then I'm like watching this movie that I like dated a guy that was addicted to porn. Maybe it wasn't a true story. I don't know. Yeah, because for, for the audience, Don that Don Juan movie was about a guy who was addicted to porn, mm -hmm. and then his girlfriend ends up breaking up with him, and it's yeah. it's like a fucking real and tragic I remember, story. And I remember watching it and being like, God, I didn't know he was writing this movie, you know. So um, the guy I was dating at the time when the movie came out, I was like, oh, let's like watch Born Together because I've never watched it, you know? And I was like, no, I don't like it. Doesn't turn me on, doesn't, I don't like it. I was like, he was like, well, what do you want? I was like, what activity porn? Like, I want them to be like playing tennis and then they start having sex. <laughs> That's what Jared wants. <laughs> That's all he watches is activity way. porn. That's yeah. what I want. Or like artistic porn. Like a What's really, artistic like, porn? Like, well, it's just lit really beautifully and it's like, a, like, like I don't know. Or, yeah. or even like my, oh God. <laughs> Go ahead. I keep saying. Go ahead. Russell Brand regret. watches wheelchair porn. It's but fine. I, but like I like I've so I pose for sculptors and painters and artists and stuff. And the, my one little fantasy is that like if like I fell in love with the artist or the artist like fucked me in front of everyone. <laughs> Oh, but in front of a lot of people. I mean, yeah. that kind of makes sense because I didn't know, but uh, yeah. you, they just told me in that like the nudist thing that you got going on and, and yeah. kind of sharing that, which 
we'll get into part of that off your Instagram. But I mean, I could see that, right? Where that's like the well, fantasy just, where you're the, you're the centerpiece. And it's, and, yeah, but it's really not like, I'm not like a nudist in the sense of people think of like community when they think of nudists, like the nudist community and stuff right. like that. I'm just always the naked person. My dad always said that because I'm like, oh, I grew up in a naked house. And my dad's like, no, George, you were just always naked. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> I've always just been like the naked human. And it's nothing about, it's nothing about being sexy. Like, it's just I get about it. Tr- be- loving being naked. I get it. I can't be naked, so I never wear pants and shoes. That's my thing. So mm. I get it. I'm half naked from the knee down. No matter from the what, knee down, he's a nudist. Yeah, yeah. But, but much like you, because we, we, fo- we all follow your Instagram. We think you're fucking hilarious. When you were at Mammoth on, on oh, yeah. skis. Two days ago. Buck naked, yeah. Matt's the same way. Like, he'll go out in 15-degree weather in sh- shorts oh, and no so that shoes. Means, that means but he'll, got, keep, he'll keep shorts on. You've got Geordie legs. So in so um, in New, like if you're from Newcastle, you're called a Geordie. And they're famous. The girls out there will be out in the snow in December wearing like tiny little dresses. Like Where it's, is it's, this? it's known that it's in Newcastle, England. Perfect. Um, and it's known yeah, go there. Oh go it's, there. that's uh, and it's known north of West Sussex. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, it's known that near they're Tottenham. Legs, yep. they're leg, yeah, exactly. Oh, is, that, is that near Nottingham? Don't, don't mention Tottenham Notting- or Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but their legs don't get cold. And my grandma was a Geordie. So okay. I always say I've got Geordie legs, like my grandma. Was, so what, you must have some part Geordie in you. What was your ancestry me com. earlier? I am, I am some British in me. I so. called you a bell end. <laughs> I called you a pillock. called you a plonker. Yeah, what's and then a, a plonker? Wallet. What's a plonker? <laughs> plonker is like... I guess like a douche. It's like, so it's not, <laughs> yeah. So it's not really, like, it's not like really offensive. Sure, sure, sure. It's just, my, my sister called me, um, so there's a show called Only Fools and Horses. Don't know if you guys know British comedy. But um, in it, there's, um, her, his, his brother's called Rodney and he's really stupid. So he's like, you plonker, Rodney. So my sister always said, I'm really stupid. So she's called me Rodney my whole life. The only right. British comedy I've ever watched is when they copied the American comedy, The Office. Um, yeah. They, they, they copied no, it. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. they, they weren't the originators, it. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what, you like Richie, Ricky Gervais? Is he the most famous guy over there? Is he the most? I don't know, I've been here too long to know that answer. Really? But, um, but I do love Ricky Gervais. I love An Idiot Abroad. I wish yeah. I wish they did a female Solid. version and I could yeah. be the idiot abroad. That would oh, be really great. fun. I'd be yeah. really I'd be naked and I'd be an idiot. It'd be great. Like extras was really good. Extras is hilarious. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Pretty much everything that he's done is Yeah, he's done great. Solid. He's, I, I like you I like I, you say you've been gone too long. You were just on the UK Bachelor. That's yeah. true. But Ricky Trace did this dance, which I forgot that he did this dance, and I've been trying to and I've been doing this like I just go like this and I call it the crab and I'm like, I'm gonna spread the crab if one's gonna do this. <laughs> and then I remembered the Ricky Drace did it, and I'm like, "Fuck, I copied him." It's when he goes, "Yeah, exactly." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah the, the, did, that was off, good. The you British well. Office was my favorite. You loved it. Sitcom of all time, yes. Yeah. The British version. It's, it's, well, you referenced Faulty Towers earlier, and yes. there was another. There's this old British comedy I used to watch. Is uh, Father Ted? Did you ever watch Father that? Ted? Of course yeah. I did. Yeah. Right. Yes, I like, love it. I was like British. in my teens, I was watching that for some reason. I don't know why. When I go, when I go back home, that's my favorite thing. Right. Is to cuddle on the sofa with my dad and just watch British comedy. And then there's like we've got like Mock the Week and Never shameless Mind the Bars Cox there, right? and stuff. Yeah, Shameless. Yeah. We have our yeah. own Shameless. So yeah, I just I I really do miss British TV shows. I'm always watching them out here. The Inbetweeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, coupling was from Cuckoo. over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why some... Why are they so far ahead of us comedically? <laughs> For real, because we buy drink, all their shit and just remake it. Me? Um, I don't think I don't think um, we're further ahead. I think we're so emotionally stunted that the only way we can express ourselves is through something funny. I think that's where it comes from. You know, we don't. It's, it's very. We've got the like. I'll oh, brush it under the carpet. Have a cup of tea. Keep calm. Carry on. And and I know myself. I've been through some really really fucked up dark shit. And I'll find something really. Awkwardly funny about it. <laughs> For example, so I think that's what? where it comes. Oh God! For example, um, so my um, manager, my first manager out here, who was not only my manager, he was like my dad out here. Like his li- his daughter was like my little sister. His wife was like my mom. Like I spent every holiday with them. Um, he killed himself. 
This is, this is when we go dark and I have to make a joke, so you guys don't just, no, sit, no, no, don't no, just no, keep okay. staring at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued. That's was, why I'm looking. It was, I'm the mo- it was the most like the, like awful thing. Well, no, actually, I've had a lot of awful things happen to me, but it was really, really awful. But then afterwards, I had to, you know, I'm I'm trying to find another manager. So when I go for the meetings, I'm like, well. This manager lasted two and a half years managing me before he went, you know. So I wonder yeah. how long you're going to last. <laughs> and surprisingly, I don't have a manager still. <laughs> so Nobody wants to take you no on. They're going to end their that. life. Let's all take that's that right. one We've on. Talked. It's all humor through horror, you know. Yes. Sometimes yeah, it's the only exactly. thing that gets you through it. Always, it. Yeah, it always is. I'm always, I think, so I think that's where the British stuff comes from. Because out here, I'm, I'm still really struggling with the... Oh, like I've been through a lot of shit and everyone's like, you really have to deal with it. You know, you, you got to get through it. Otherwise, it's going to come out in other ways in your life and you're going to become fucked up human and dating. And, um, Is that your American accent? That was really bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm like, I don't actually know how to. I've been like, you know, brought up like, you don't talk about it. It didn't happen. Just get on with it. And I'm so good at pretending I'm okay or thinking I'm okay yeah. that I actually don't know how to deal with it and I think that's made me really funny <laughs> <laughs> what did The that's Bachelor think of you when you were on over there yeah. The Bachelor oh my goodness <laughs> you didn't yeah. win right I did not win no what, I did not win did you like the guy or was he fucking cool or not so um, no it's, it's funny like when when I so I guess so it's ten episodes he kicked okay. me off at the end of the sixth one Okay. You still lasted a good amount. So that's pretty good. 60% um, is passing grade. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, good. It's good. And Was fuck that a all C the other or ones. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, the last few episodes are always cheese yeah. dick anyway. Yeah. With the girls like crying, like, I actually love yeah. him. And you don't. It's like, I oh. cried. <laughs> oh, no. You <laughs> cried on that fucking show? He kissed me and I cried. <laughs> are you serious? Why did you cry? God, you're a oh, character. It's I, hilarious. I can't, yeah. even, I can't even explain. Um... It's one of those things that you don't know, like, until you're in this experience, how intense it is. So, you don't have a phone, one. Like, they, they, five episodes is pretty much like five weeks. So, we look batshit crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in England, it plays every day. So, on the second day, like, we're, like, crying because someone leaves. And they're like, they met them yesterday. And it's like, no, that was two weeks ago. You know, it's, like, way longer than it looks like on TV. And it's the first time I, I have to say thank you for whoever put me on the show. I had the best time of my life. I got to be unapologetically myself for five weeks. I and and everyone loved me, which I'm I'm used to like like some some mean mean people around me and like not and being judged and stuff. And I didn't I didn't have that. I was like just being me, and everyone loved me. And also I have like. 12 jobs a day like I'm always doing something right so like even like me being here it, immersed in this magical experience with you guys mm, I'm already you. going like oh I have to go to work after this and thinking about this and like oh I need to pay my rent I need to do this yeah you know like who's my next boyfriend yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be careful you'll get a lot of inquiries from the drink yeah, yeah. yeah. those DMs yeah. are gonna fill up on yeah. this one I know they'll, they'll be the so. tea bag to your I don't your like cup. dick pics in the morning guys can you just like wait till the afternoon <laughs> <laughs> thank you what? not in the morning huh? not in the morning well, it's, it's but what if they're like it's, it. it's five o'clock somewhere with their dick pic yeah, yeah. yeah that's probably what's happening yeah, yeah. yeah. but um Anywho, I've lost my train of you, thought. You started but crying yeah. after, after he kissed oh, you. Yeah. Why? So my, like, my point is that like, you get to just be immersed in one. That the only thing you can think about is this being guy. in South Africa oh. and this guy. You know, and then For like I'm making, weeks. I'm making great friends, but like the like. Do you the, f- do you feel that like, just the environment with all the girls and the one guy? That's that's the mission. That's the objective. That there's a sense there's of like nature. putting of, him on a pedestal where you're like he's greater than he is. Of course, of course, there's that, and it's also like you know, it's twenty girls, or I think it was a bit less, but like. There's that many girls and one cock. Like, of course we're gonna fancy it. Like, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. Any other option? So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. But I always wonder on that show, like, do you start fucking camera guys and shit like that? Because you're <laughs> stuck there for weeks without a phone. I did have a crush on the camera guy, but no, I, I found out it. that he had a wife and kids. So I was like, oh damn it. Uh. But no, no, there's none of that happens at all. But and I've got to say. I did actually really like him. Really? It was it yeah, like it was weird like I don't know there's something that I'm I'm trying to shift 
my terrible taste in men. <laughs> Because I really, like, I, my picker, or whatever you call it, is off. Like, I just, like, I wish I was a fucking gold digger. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that, like, brings in the guy that's lived in his car for three weeks because he's talented or something. I see something, you know, I'm, I'm like a fixer. Yeah, you can so clean I'm, him up and get him on yeah, his way and be and his I'm inspiration. Just like, I'm yeah, just, mama bear I just, syndrome. like, I don't know why I have it. I don't know where it comes from. My dad is the most amazing man on earth. I shouldn't have daddy issues. Like, he's the, the coolest guy ever. But I do have like this thing where I'm like I'm always helping people and 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 they they I think it's more they beeline for me and they're like oh because I because I, I I have I, I think I have a gift this sounds arrogant but I have a gift to make people happy and feel good and and show them that life is beautiful and life is fun and la 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 so I think they get immersed in that but they don't see anything else they don't see anything deeper in me so I've been trying to like shift that and be like, okay, what do I actually want? What do I want to feel from a man? And I don't know if he was reading my mind or I said something when I was auditioning for the show, <laughs> but he said all the things that made, like it, like he saw deeper into my personality and into the, the way I am as a human. Do you think that the producers not to shit in the love story here that feed them lines, like these are things that she wants to hear? To I like always wonder, or did yeah. you watch all your tapes? Well, I don't I, think they're probably that. I don't know. Well I really don't. I don't know anything about that. Um, there's definitely, you know, it's there's a sense of shifting things in the the right direction. There was there was a point where they were like, Georgie, talk about this, and and I'm like, you know, I'm I've been in the theatre. I've like been an actor my whole life. So if a director tells you what to do, you do it. Yeah. But then I forget that I'm like, oh, wait, no, hang on a minute. I don't have to do what they say because this is me. I'm being me. I'm not being an actor. I'm being myself. So like, so they can try, but they, they, ultimately it's your choice to do what you want to do. I do think, <laughs> I do think they got rid of me for the shock factor, for sure. Really? They basically, they brought in two new girls. And oh, then wow. And then he picked to get rid of me. And the, and Wait, he got the option to bring in two new ones? No, no. <laughs> so they br he brought in two new girls, and then he still has to get rid of someone. So he got rid of me instead of like two new girls that he didn't even know. It's like oh. a card like, game. It's like, give me two, hit me. Yeah, yeah. hit me, yeah, right? hit me, hit, hit me. Yeah. I don't like this hand. I'm splitting. Give me, yeah. give me a couple I'm more. So I like, know, exactly. I'm the ace of spades and fucking spitting his shoes. So yeah. And like on, on episode one, I don't know if they have this in the American show because I've never seen it. <laughs> I have. But, um, My wife watches that, okay. that goddamn show. So I've seen... Probably the last four or five seasons. And when I saw that you were on it, I was like, I can't wait to ask oh. her what the real shit is. So with that, okay, because lasting six weeks like you did, because you were asking earlier how long she lasted. That's a I, really that, long yes, fucking it time. It was. I think it was. It was like yeah, it was six episodes. Yeah, yeah, but si but yeah, essentially but six weeks worth. No, in, right? in 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 England they air every night. No, um, but, but you're in your I real life. I think I was there like a month or five weeks. I yeah, yeah, and, but in your real life. Don't quote me. I might be wrong. I can't remember. I yeah, didn't have a so phone. In I didn't America, know what day it was. It's once a week, and then you, you you realize later it was probably three months. So if that time would be split in half for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Six weeks is a long time to, to go really through that shit. And my mom and dad, are like my best friends, I talk to my mom like. 17 times a day I tell her like oh mom I just ate the best pokey ever oh mom I just did this or mom I just met this guy I just met a burly what's a pokey burly tattooed guy pokey. <laughs> <laughs> what's a pokey pokey is um it's like wine the, the, the way I, I pokey is like pink berry you know like frozen yogurt yeah but with sushi <laughs> Sure, it's rice <laughs> because and, you and pick all your bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. That's how I describe it. Yeah. But how's where's frozen yogurt in that? Well, she's just saying it's like that. It's like you, you pick, pick all your it's different Hawaiian. bits. You got pick it, your base, got it. I thought there was like frozen yogurt with sushi no, on there. No, I was like, sounds like something Jared would eat out of a trash can. I yeah. Know. I get my fish out of the back of a Saturn. Thank you. Okay, it's a Saturn. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you dated Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh yeah. I've never ever ever talked about this before. How was that? Because he seems like a great guy. He really was that like he's yeah. an exception, right? No, he I was, love him, and that's how I met him. So I performed at the um, premiere after party for Inception. No shit. Yeah, performed how? And I Comedy? remember, huh? Comedy. No, I I had a pet snake. Oh. So and I remember my like. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna back <laughs> yeah. you up there real quick. <laughs> uh, didn't Evan, say anything about the pet snake. Okay. Yeah. Can you Let's rewind that? So what were you performing with your snake? 
So I was just <laughs> dancing in a sexy outfit with the love of my life, which was Slinky Sebastian, my snake. Okay. Bo, and we had this uh, story on the last We did story. have it on the <laughs> You remember? <laughs> I, I do. Apparently, well, there no, was a fire. I don't remember, but you t you t this, you told me that that's what I talked about, which I know. I the snake died I would the never fire. talk about that if I wasn't drunk because I would just cry. So I managed I to get the story out. I often dance with my pet snake, which is my best friend. Too. Matt, oh this yeah, is a snake died in a fire. Well, your snake isn't oh. as beautiful as my snake. Or as big. So. Alright, nice right. snake. All right. All right. Mine was All right. fourteen feet. His snake is uncirked. Um, <laughs> so oh, did he did he get his difference. foreskin reattached? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just not talk about my penis on this show. Uh, I've that'd heard be it's real to the left. So you meet him. He's at the biggest premiere of his life. Because mm. uh, let's face it, that movie was Christopher Nolan. It's massive. Yeah. He comes up to you out of every because those premieres are huge. Yeah. There's like 600 people so there. No, she is comes dancing up to you. with a snake. No, yeah. Yeah. Wait, it's even better. So it's, this wasn't the premiere. This was the, like, the after party for the premiere. Yeah, which and is like, a massive deal. Uh, yeah, and my boss was like, Georgie, go and dance in that room. So I was like, okay. So I'm like walking with Slinky. And I, I like, get on the table and I'm like dancing. And like this camera's just going off taking pictures of me. And I look and it's Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio is taking pictures of me. Like, what the flying fuck? And um, so I carry on performing and then... Ellen Page is there and she's like, Georgie, I really want to meet your snake. My snake, honestly, I like I don't know if you guys like snake, but my snake is the most beautiful, well, was the most beautiful magical creature of life. And my snake sat on her hand and she started crying because he was so beautiful. Why are so girls always crying? I know. We're always crying. <laughs> I know. Over so a snake, too, I gotta admit, like I am just not a reptile pet fan. Me? Never got it, never will get it. If it brought you happiness, I know. I, I, I have to say that. I I still have I have a bearded dragon. Called Roy Rogers. Do you like just reptiles? In I general? love reptiles. Yeah, Why? I love all animals. Fair. Yeah. But like, dog over reptile. I'm gonna go. No, with I the love dog. them all. I love dogs too. I've never had a dog. Well, I you did. Had a couple extra. But, but yeah. like, but like, um, my lifestyle doesn't suit. A dogs. dog, right? Yeah. I'm too. I, I understand. I'm, you're working. I love animals too much to leave them for too long, and I'm like, you That's know, fair. I'm working like 12 jobs a day. It wouldn't be fair. Okay, back to my story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hey, go ahead, get sassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. can throw anything this way. I'm a. So <laughs> Ellen Page is crying, petting your snake. Yeah, and then, um, and then I'm like walking away, just about to have my break. And this guy comes up to me and he's like, oh, what's your snake's name? And I'm like, Singy Sebastian. And we start dancing. And he's like, he's a musical theater guy like me. So we're having like a full on like Fred and Ginger Rogers moment. And, um, and he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, Georgie. And he's like, my name's Joey. And I'm really bad with actors' names. I thought I was dancing with Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> 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 genuinely, genuinely, my brain thought I was dancing with Shia LaBeouf. And then he was like, what time do you finish? And I was like, 2.30. Um, and, and he was like, Would you, he was like, I, I leave for Paris in the morning. Would you want to like hang out afterwards? I was like, okay. <laughs> so we go back to the Dorchester Hotel and I drive him in my Ford KA, which I don't even think these exist in America because they're too small. You like big things. But they look like a little noddy car, like this tiny little bubble car. Like, like you know, I, I, I've got Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> in my little naughty car you know and uh, we drive back to the Dorchester Hotel oh sorry we drive back to the Dorchester Hotel and um, I don't know why I'm like saying that as if I'm like it sounds like I'm advertising them no it's fine <laughs> I keep mentioning it's the hotel fine. no so we go back with there with air quote Shia LaBeouf yeah, yeah exactly with, with, with Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> and then um, and then I uh, then we, we, we go back to his his um, his suite and um um, we dance down the aisles like Fred and Ginger Rogers. Like I'm like, remember just being like, oh my god, where's Slinky at this I'm point. I'm like, yeah, where's the so snake? Slinky had a home in my car. Oh okay. Which oh. actually once got broken into, and the police saw that my car got broken into and was like, "Ma'am, do you know?" Oh, I don't know why I said American accent because they're English. <laughs> Miss, uh, <laughs> do you know that you have a snake in your car? <laughs> so someone broke into my car because they thought that I was hiding something valuable but it was actually my snake the snake they're like ah uh, and they ran away fuck. yeah and the police caught her. but anywho back to so yeah, we're dancing down the aisle um to his suite and um we go back to the suite and we just like talk like i know i sound like i'm lying but we like just talked all night long just like i was like i've met the one 
Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> Air quote Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, Joey, when you hear this. <laughs> 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 but we really did, like, we had this the most magical night. And then in the morning, he was like, Georgie, like, I don't want to offend you, but... Um, I have to leave now and I don't want everyone to see that I went home with the snake lady. <laughs> so he was like, can you like hang out for a little bit longer? And um, and and I'm going to head out. And he had like his hat and glasses on and he goes like, and, he, and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So he leaves and I'm like just eating all the fruit and free, st- like find all the free stuff in the suite. <laughs> 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 this is like pretty woman. This is like a pretty yeah. woman story. It is really pretty woman. And then I look at the time and I'm like, Fuck, I had to move my car at 8 a.m. Um, and it was 8.05 and like they're strict out there. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to leave. I'm going to have to leave. So I like left um, and I'm like walking out and I just see Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> no, wait, no, I missed it. Sorry. So while I'm eating all the fruit, I see that they had a note that said, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, thank you for your stay. And I was like, oh, my God, it is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's not Shia LaBeouf. So that was oh what I knew. Oh, my God. And then, <laughs> the entire night you spent with somebody thinking it was another dude. Yeah. But you were but still... It didn't matter. I didn't care about who they were. Like, I, like it could have been you. With the connection we had, I would have gone home with you. Yeah. So, anywho. <laughs> but no, so I'm, like, leaving... Then I, I'm walking through the lobby and I see Joseph Gordon Levitt and Tom Hardy like standing there having a chat. So I'm just like, walk by, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Like, don't say hello because I do want to embarrass him. And I go outside and I get to my car and I see I didn't have a parking ticket. So I'm jumping up and down. I'm like, yes, I didn't have a parking ticket. And that's when they all come out. So Joey probably thought that I was jumping up and down because I was just spending the night with him. No way. <laughs> it was because I just, I didn't get a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have sex uh, on the first? No, not on the first night. No, no, no. We didn't. No, I, I know talked. it sounds like I'm lying, but like, that's like, great. like we just had like really like the... Like, oh, God, I wish he wasn't married with a kid right now. Like, like, like he's the one that got away from me. Like, uh, yeah. How long it really was magical. I don't really know because, like, it was like it was when he was doing A Dark Night and all that. Um, in, and it was filmed in England. So I can't remember. It was, like, on and off. Like, I don't, like. Sure. I don't know. The one that got away. The first cut is the deepest. I can see you fucking shit up with Russell Brand. You ever fuck with him? <laughs> you are. I'd never fucked Russell Brand, but I would. I would because he's a West Ham supporter. He supports the same football team as me. So. What do you think of his he whole shit now? Do you listen to his podcast and all that stuff? He's got a shaman now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a shaman now. He's got a shaman now that travels with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I really don't know. To be honest, I haven't si- um, followed much of what he's done since. He had like some show that I I went to watch you out know here who, in LA. You know who's British to have a crush on? James, uh, the, the, the Corden, late, Corden, yes, the James Corden, yeah, really? yeah. That, that he's, he's a West, so, uh, fan fave, fan he's fave. a West Ham supporter as well. That's uh, all it that's takes, huh? Team. That's all it takes. Same football no, team. Same football I, team. Yeah. yeah, and I sat next to him once at a match, and we were like singing about the goalkeeper, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. Adrian. It's my dad's screensaver is me and James Corden. <laughs> really? He's cool. Yeah. He's a talented motherfucker, man. Yeah. I think he's the future of like uh, talk great. show. I do. No, I shouldn't insult him, should I? No, go ahead. Fire away. No, he I just watch no, the like, show. Like, the carpooling thing. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, okay, can I listen to... Lady Gaga sings. You have to sing louder than her the whole time. Oh yeah, you, he loves you know, it. Like he's he gets like, into it. He is a really great singer. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, all right, because I think that's what would be me if I was a host. I wouldn't fucking shut up, and the, the, you know, yeah. I would be a terrible host because it, it would be it would be the Georgie yeah. show. Can you imagine as a <laughs> fan having like one of your pop favorite stars in, mm. in the co seat? Like, well, I would let them fucking sing if I loved them. Yeah, he cried yeah. with uh, Paul McCartney. Like I would a, cry with a few Paul weeks McCartney. ago. Yeah, I danced with Paul McCartney. Really? Damn. Like, why am I doing like? Why is this show not you can about name drop? All why you is want. this Go not ahead. about my talent? Why is this just me dropping names you're, on the floor? Well, well, because um, let's talk about your talent. Exactly. No, but you're you're one of those people who's so fucking interesting across the board that it's like, man, you, you could be like if you told me you fuck Bill Clinton. You know, and you guys were hanging out. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, that probably that sounds, like Georgie. Which, it seems like which Georgie. Which statistically in America, 
one out of any person in any room at any time is fuck Bill Clinton. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's a realistic that's possibility. That's a real fact. Yeah. That's, that's a real fact. fact. Put it on Wikipedia. I, we should start the shirt. I fucked yeah. Bill Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like or that. I, I will wear a shirt that says I, I fucked Bill Clinton. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. Hashtag me too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeez. <laughs> but you're one of those people like I, I just already assume that you're famous already. Like because in every conversation Why the fuck am I not? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. How long you been out here? I wish I knew the answer. How long have I been out here? Um, six and a half years now, I think. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came to visit October 2012, and I'm still here. Okay. So, yeah. Any, like, besides, like, Brandon Rogers and all that other shit, like, what's the biggest thing you've done, you think? Um, God, I don't know. It, like, it's getting, like, I'm, I'm always, you know, I, I want to be the most adored woman on earth. You know, I'm not asking for much. You're already yeah. close to that. Yeah. And if you follow her Instagram, <laughs> you'll be the most adored woman of drinking bros. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only woman in here. That's <laughs> really <Yeah>. odd. <laughs> <laughs> but um like that's like I I have really high like aims or dreams or whatever you fucking call them. But also, I'm so grateful that all I've done is what I love since I was a kid. Like I've never like just been I, I am a bit of a yes woman. Like I say yes to a bunch of jobs where I'm like, am I still really doing this and whatever? But I'm still performing and doing what I love every day. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I don't know what I would say is like the biggest things. Um, I host, um, well, I hosted, I don't know. We're waiting to see if we get a second season. News Uncovered on the Playboy channel. Oh, yeah, Which yeah. is where I uncover the news whilst uncovering myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just talk about random news stuff and then... We have Topless Stacy. on yeah, our, we, our we actually show. have a character that we need called Topless Stacy on Stacey. our... Yeah, does she, does the the she does the oh, weather. She does the weather. does the weather on our yeah, show, I, yeah. I, I can talk about the weather with my tits out if you yeah. need me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we have the green screen here, we could shoot 50 of those. Because all, all it is is you saying, it's 50. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just looking away. Thank you, Topless Stacy. It is 50 <laughs> degrees outside. It is 50 outside. degrees out here. But you heard it first. say it's 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's, all, that's all it is. But we have a million of those cutaways. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I've got a new job, guys. Thanks. Have you, have One you step closer to being the most adored women on earth. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. One small step Thank for you. mankind. <laughs> Have you dated anybody else that's famous? Oh my god, yes. Oh who? God. Who do we got? Okay. Why are you sweating right now? I'm not sweating. Because I'm wearing a fucking. Yeah, season. that's like a winter parka. I know. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> ski suit. Yeah. Pretty evident. Wait, when you why were are you the sweating? Mountain, you weren't wearing a fucking <laughs> ski suit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've done it the wrong way around. I'm taking it off. Go ahead. Fire away. <laughs> No, if I take no. Who, who else? There's no, got to be. There's no. somebody crazy. Oh no, there's there's a lot. Of, no, I've I've never I've never even told the the Joey story. Oh wow. So so I've never like we're like like to close friends, but not really. Anyone. Did you guys so get to I hang out after what? that night, or was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We were okay. like, we Can were I make a couple of guesses? G butts, Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler, no, but I would. Clive Owen. Oh my God, Gerard Butler, I've got the best story. G butts. I've never heard G butts. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I never heard G butts, so I didn't know. Dave's like, just put the fucking oh my God. microphone I'm on so there. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> so, I'm you're not fine. a professional, sorry. Yeah, it's Why didn't you now. give me one of those Britney Spears mics so yeah, I right? could use my hands and shit, you know? Yeah. We do the routines. Um, sorry, Gerard Butler, this is a great fucking story. You ready for this? Yeah. So um, I used to um, work for a kids' entertainment company until I got fired because apparently I'm inappropriate for kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's that shocking. wasn't even the story. Shocking. Listen, listen, yeah. that's the title of this episode. <laughs> Inappropriate, Inappropriate for, for kids. kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, back to that. But anyway, we were like um we had our like Christmas party, so we were like bar hopping around Soho. And then we're walking past this place called Groucho's, which is like a private members club. And there was all this paparazzi outside. And I've been there a bunch of times with my dad. So I was like, maybe even though I'm not a member, maybe I can sort of swag us in there. So I'm just about to go in and I bump into this guy. And I'm like, oh, sorry, mate. And then the paparazzi goes crazy. So then me and my friend were like, just following him <laughs> like behind him because we, did, like, we didn't know who it was. But we were just following him. Down the street, the paparazzi's going absolutely crazy. And then he turns around and he's like, 
what the fuck do you think you are, you fame slags? Is this what you're about? I can't do a Scottish accent, so I'm like... Sure, sure. But he just goes mental at us. And, I, and my friend goes, we don't even know who you are. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm really sorry. We, like, we, we just thought it was funny. Like We're not trying to do anything. But he was really, really angry at us. Next day, I'm teaching a dance class and my phone just blows up. And it's all these different articles. And it was... Gerard Butler leaves with two hot chicks. Gerard Butler is chased by fans. Gerard Butler is a grouchy cunt. Okay, oh, I can't say cunt. Can I yeah, say yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you want. It's a grouchy cunt because it was from the Grouch Show. And all these things, there was all these different stories about, and all we did was just follow him down the street. So we found it really hilarious, obviously. Fast forward, a few years later, I'm at a party and I see him there. And my friend's like, oh, Georgie, let me introduce you to Jerry. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh butts. Oh, God. So then um, he goes, hi, I'm Gerald. And I'm like, hi, I'm Georgie. And I was like, funny story. <laughs> <laughs> so I start telling him about that. And he was like, that was so fucked up that the paparazzi like framed us and paid you guys to do that. Blah, blah. And I was like, not at all. Like, dude, I was 19. I'm sorry, I didn't know who you are. I, like, I know who you are now. Love your work. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, we didn't know who you are. We just thought it was funny to like chase you down the street. And um, and he was like, all right, I forgive you. Gave me a few hugs throughout the night. Every time he saw me, he was like, <laughs> so I was like, okay, finally, I've got forgiveness. Because I did actually feel bad because I want that kind of fame. So I don't want to feel like someone's taking advantage, which sure. is obviously what he thought when we were just being stupid 19 year olds. And then I bump into him again at Chateau Maman. He's leaving. I'm going in. I'm like, hi, Gerard. It's so good to see you. I like, remember, like, we caught up, caught up about that story about, you know, and he was like, you knew what you were doing. What did you think? You fame horn. And all, like, like, gets mad at me again. Oh, really? Shit. And I'm like, I'm like, what? And I was like, no, I was like, we already, like, like, like we already made up. Like, yeah. we've already been through this. I got my forgiveness. Hail Mary, mother and Joseph or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I, like so I was like, you know that feeling where it goes over your body? Where like, I just felt like I'd been told off by my like maths teacher or whatever. So I felt awful and I went to my friend's party and I'm there at the party and then he comes up to the party. So I'm like, oh, oh God, you can't God. get away from G-butts. So I'm like, oh my God, like not only did he just like basically get mad at me again, but now I'm at the same party and I'm wearing like a green cat suit. Like you can't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> a green cat suit. I'm like, I'm trying to hide like from- Like cat woman yeah. or just the I'm actual <laughs> cat suit? I like a cat suit, an all in one type thing. An Elia, rest in peace. But um, so yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so then that's why I'm like there just trying to avoid him the whole night. But I was not having fun, obviously. And then as I'm leaving, he, Comes over. I'm saying goodbye to the, the people whose party it is. I, I'm not going to name drop anymore, but the people whose party it is. So I'm saying goodbye to him, and he comes over and he's like, Let me tell you about this girl in front of these guys. Tells it to, and I'm like, I'm really sorry, but you're remembering the story really wrongly. This is not what happened. Yeah. And it was 10 years ago. Like, why are you still not over it? Like, what the fuck? He's still holding on like, to this. He's still holding on to thinking that I was trying to, you know. So it was just Isn't like. Isn't Gerard Butler gay? Fuck you, G-Butts. No, I he's don't not. Know. But no. then, he, and she, then she, he, he did, to end it, he did go, look, like, you seem actually really cool. Let's have a hug. And we ended on a nice note. But I just can't believe that this one tiny silly thing I did as a 19-year-old running behind paparazzi got me like 10 years of Gerard hatred. Oh, <laughs> boy. g And we need to find the pictures because it's really funny. Oh, oh we need to dig these you up. You see him looking great. at me. Like, yeah. Uh, it'd be yeah. fantastic. Uh, Evan wanted to ask you about oh, God. Brexit. Oh, God, here we go. Just the uh, ins and outs of it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I actually didn't want to bring that up. <laughs> I mean, don't bring up. Can you, you know? ever just explain it to us? Like, what the, Do you know what the fuck is going on? I, I think you would know better than anybody based I, on that so accent. I say out of politics. Yeah. Not that I'm not passionate about human beings and I think the world's fucking fucked and I hate that everyone's being judged and we're going back in time and people can't just be themselves. It's like, you know, my nudity is more offensive today than it was last week for some reason. Which is crazy, right? Because you were saying earlier before the show that you, because The Bachelor, 
and then you posted something you didn't in previously yeah. and everybody was judging you on a completely different stance. It was just crazy. Yeah, so apparently I've got a few new fans from The Bachelor and they haven't done their research and looked into my backlog on Instagram. So they don't know that I'm naked all the time. And I, I take great pride in the fact that I'm naked, but I'm being funny, tongue in cheek. Like you, you'll never see me being like, <laughs> Posing, thinking I'm fucking sexy. It's nothing to do with that. It's just being like funny and naked. It's just, it's just it's saying just, fuck it, send it. You yeah, know? it's just fuck it. Yeah, it's just a very much. I don't see. It would be more sexy if I had stockings and a corset and everything and a whip. You know, I'm just sorry. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> uh, That's Dave, by um, the way. So Dave is put Dave the, the yeah. mic I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm just Kill she's joy. a free spirit. That's why you, we'll just watch it on YouTube because Kill you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll just get yeah, the full Just watch YouTube. it on YouTube. I'll flash my tits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send it. Do it. Send, send it. it. Send it. You send it. it, Georgie. Send <laughs> it. No, oh I, I serious question about the Brexit thing because I don't. What, why did? Why is there nine hundred votes that's been going on for four years? I don't understand the politics. Like, I really wh why so is it? Preface. I. I was saying I say out of politics because I'm here. Right. But I'm. I'm not a resident here. I have a working visa here, so Got I it. can't vote in America. I'm not in England, so I can't bloody vote there. So I can't, like, 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 I, I can't do anything about it, even though I'm passionate about things. Brexit for me, I feel like like Britain or England, maybe just England. I don't know because Scotland doesn't like to be a part of us, whatever. But um, England, we have this. We got on air because we. We're, like, we're too good for the we're Church too good of England. For this, the Church of England. So yeah. I'm just like, I oh. feel like the Brexit was just like, oh, we're too good for you. I hate that. I hate that. My parents like, like, we're, um, they live between England and Spain, and I don't know what's going to happen to that now. Whether they're going to be able to do that. So I'm just thinking for my family, and and I really did. And this is a true statement that I said to my mum when I was a. You know, younger than than a wee the, little the, the twenty one that I am now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but like when I was younger, I, said, I remember saying to my mom, like, I can't wait until we have an open passport and we can just live wherever we want. And she was like, Oh yeah, it's such a nice idea. We're going the opposite way. We're making it way harder for anyone to live anywhere. And I do feel like if if we did. Wait, and I've, <laughs> I don't talk about politics, but let me tell you how the world should work. <laughs> 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 but I do feel like like I was in Tahiti um, for another job I did, Dating Naked. Did you, did you see me on that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> you should go in Naked, naked in the Fray. Da I'm sorry, was that Dating Naked? Dating Naked at VH1, yeah. Did oh, wow. fuck. That's where they start the show and you meet the person and both of you have to get buck naked and you have full-on dates and you can't wear and any you, clothes. you don't care. That doesn't phase well, you. Was what, I think that's why I got on the show because I was like, I'm naked for a living. So this right. yeah. is a, so they were like, oh, that's a cool like thing to put into the show because everyone else is nervous about it. And she's just, but I'm like, I'm a, I don't like, I just had to keep looking at his eyes. It was a bit weird. For me, I'm like, don't look down. Yeah, what's what, what's a normal guy's dick like throughout the course of a shooting day? Because you're going through different weather climates, food. Yeah, I agree. Because and you, you know, you want you want to be like can, forceful in your in your presence as a guy. But you but can't like keep that. Climate can't. That's that why I'm so emotion. glad. I'm so glad I don't have a penis because I could I randomly do get turned on by random things. You guys don't know. Yeah. That's why I'm glad I don't have a well, penis. Well, the wet yeah. spot on the seat's a oh, little yeah, indicator, yeah, but. Good. Why are the cameras? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> did, but did did he get, talk about did he get interaction? I genuinely it? did not look. I could not tell you what his penis was like. I did not look at his penis. Not I did not time. look down for one second, and he got rid of me first. So like it was the first person he got rid of. Wow. <laughs> Because he thought I was batshit crazy, and then after the show, he realized that I'm crazy in a good way. Right. And then yeah, it was funny because um, anytime he called me after the show, I'd be like, "Fuck you, David!" And then whoever I was with, if I was in an Uber, I'd be like, "Tell it to say fuck you, David. Fuck you, David. Fuck right. you, David." I just always said fuck you, David. But he really apologized. He was like, "I didn't realize." That you were that cool, I didn't get enough time to. We say "fuck you, Dave" a lot on this show. Okay, so yeah. it's very similar to "fuck yeah, you, Dave." Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, we need that shirt. Dave yeah. has just been sending me killer eyes today. Okay. I know. I am just relentless. It's I'm sorry, strange. buddy. Strange. <laughs> so you've been on dating naked, mm. The Bachelor. Mm. Where, where do you go after that? 
Well, it's really funny. So G Butts House. <laughs> oh God, I want to see a reality yeah. a reality show called I, G Butts House. I feel like you've met G Easy. Um, I actually haven't. No, I I I was at Miami Art Basel when he was performing with. What about Sasha Cohen? How about Hazley? Hazley, no, but I really like Hazley's music. Halsey. 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 Yeah, she's Halsey. at Halsey. 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 Yeah. No, I haven't met her, but I really like her music. I really really like her music. Sasha Cohen. No. Uh, what if this is going to be? Clive like, Owen. Clive Owen, I yes, I did. So when I was in the kids' entertainment troupe, um, we, there, 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 <laughs> there was there, there's a, a store called Hamleys in England, which is like Toys R Us, but it was the hundredth anniversary of Hamleys. So it was like really, like a big just toy store having a party, and there's a bunch of celebrities. And I remember meeting Clive Owen. All then, right. but I didn't like. Closer is one you of my favorite movies. Ross Patterson. He trolls. I mean, he trolls. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've met before uh, on what twice now, I yep. think, on yes. two, two other shows. One, one of you, them you doesn't count. Half. If you don't remember, oh, this is quite. It doesn't count. The redemption, though. Yeah, this uh, is this is a nice redemption. What about Meghan Markle? What's the what's the? How does everybody feel about an American chick marrying a fucking prince over there? I yeah, I don't like. I said like I'm I'm like even though I'm still very British, darling. Yeah. Um. I I've lived here for. But does your mom years. call you and say, "This who's this fucking cunt"? No. <laughs> so no, I'm only saying that because no. that's your word, by the it's way. It's really funny. No, my mom's favorite word is cunt, so she'll love that you said that. Um, but um, but <laughs> send her my best. <laughs> it's true. It's true. No, she's Polish. Mama she's, Georgie, she, yeah, yeah, we she, love you. <laughs> tell that cunt I love her. <laughs> my dad, my, so my mom's Polish, and my dad always says "spidale go which means "fuck off, I love you." That's all he knows in Polish. So, <laughs> and my mom's favorite like words are the swear words because she says it's not in my native tongue, so it doesn't count. So she says fucking cunt every second word. But yeah, she loves the word cunt. What were we talking about? Meghan Markle, sorry. Yeah. Meghan Markle, you're not a cunt, sorry. Um, <laughs> no, my mom, my mom actually loved the show Suits. I love the no show Suits. So my my mom, no. my mom watched all that, so she loved it. She really, really loved it. I actually, oh, funny. So we've been doing full circle. Before I went into the house with all the girls in um, at, for The Bachelor, we were in a hotel in holding or whatever, and we had our own rooms. I watched Suits for the first time because my mom loves the show. So I was like, oh, I'm going to watch Suits. No one loves Suits. So I, so love I, suits. I really loved it. I, I, but I only got to, I, well, it was only a few days there. So I probably got to the beginning of season two or something. But I loved it. I loved the characters and yeah, yeah. So sexy what, men and whatever. So what's your hopes and dreams then for Hollywood? What, what do you hope to happen? The world to adore me. I told you that. You pay attention. It, but what's, what's your dream role? Like, do you want to play like Marilyn <laughs> Monroe or somebody crazy like yeah, that? Yeah, well, I do. I feel like Marilyn Monroe. I'm either Marilyn reincarnated. Or she's my spirit mom or something. There's definitely, I have a very strong connection to her. Not only to her, because um, she's the most beautiful woman ever, and also really underappreciated for her talent. If you really watch her movies and watch what she did, she was really, really, really amazing. And she was really abused by men and that world. And it's like, God, I'm not gonna cry because you would have all laughed about that. But if I get that guy, I do, I, re I really relate to, to that, not only in the sense of being treated badly by men and women, I'm not gonna be sexist. Sure. But, but also just being judged um, and un like, like not acknowledging talent, like not acknowledging, like I'm like, I, I can't say I'm talented because I'm not that person that's gonna say what I am, but like I'm, a trained actor, dancer, singer, also fire breather, and all the other random shiz. And but people fire, still fire breather. Oh yeah, I breathe fire. Yeah, that's how I got do, the. Do we have that in the car or something? I would love for you to breathe fire. Oh my god, I have it at my place, which is not far away. Really? But, um, but that's how I got the white rose on the Bachelor because my entrance was I jumped into splits whilst breathing fire. Wow. Yeah, and then I and then um, and then I said, uh, and oh wait. And then I put it, put the fire out in my mouth, and I looked at the bachelor and went, "Will you relight my fire? <laughs> <laughs> Will you relight my fire?" Yeah. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Clever wordplay. Yeah. So, as a, as a trained singer, have you have you sung with anybody super famous? Um. So, so I grew up in musical theatre, but actually, my first show was an opera, Aida, an opera, and then I went into more musical theatre stuff, um, and then. Um, I was Adam Ant's backing singer. How was that? It was it. It was a dream. 
I, I like I performed for fifty thousand people, and Bon Jovi and the lead singer of Train were in the like in the wings Love watching Train. us. He's a Drops of Jupiter fan, um, and he's hot as fuck. The lead singer of Train. Wow, I've never heard that in my entire life. Over Bon Jovi? Life. Yeah, over no, JBJ? No, not over Bon Jovi. I okay. have sex dreams about Bon Jovi a lot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, hey, you said, wait, so you, let me, let me say. that's the episode title. <laughs> yeah. You, you've I've never watched. Sex. <laughs> you said you've never watched porn. You don't watch a lot of porn. You should watch the live performance of Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora 1989 MTV Music Awards it is the greatest performance ever of all time will, I be, song? will I be flicking my bean over it yes you will yes. The, there's two of them it's Wanted Dead or Alive and um, Donnie used to work on a dog. oh yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah yeah it's you don't you oh, don't get a better living performance on a prayer. That, living no, on honestly, a prayer yeah yeah I and I remember that this was the biggest gig I got to do with Adam and it was at um, Hyde Park Hard Rock Calling and it was Anna Man, Stevie Nicks, then Rod Stewart. You know, it's like oh shit, like the, like unbelievable. And I remember like peeking out into the audience and being like, I wasn't nervous because I was like, I, I've earned this. I've been performing since I was five years old. I deserve this. So I was so excited. And then John Bon Jovi and the lead singer of Train like walk by and get in the wings. So I'm now nervous. John Bon Jovi actually had a broken leg. I don't know why. But JBJ he, had a broken leg. Huh? He had he had he had JBJ. his leg in his cast. But um, so then when when we're just about to go on stage, what, what did Jebbage. I miss? Jebbage. Jamie J. Jebbage. <laughs> we've got, you, we've got a I bunch can't of names keep track. for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep name dropping and then you keep creating new names for him and I don't know who I'm talking about it's, anymore. It's, it's an American thing. We call him Jebbage over here. Everybody does. JBJ, Jebbage. Um, what did he Sorry, say about this? Fight? Did you say, hey, why is your fucking leg broken, bro? No, I did not talk. I could not talk to him. Well, I'm Train like, you could talk to I, safely. Huh? You could safely talk to Train, right? Well, I mean, he actually, um, we are two um, trailers were opposite each other, trains and mine. Yeah. Um, so I, we had a few, like, you know, head nods. I might have done a few winks or whatever. He didn't say, hey, but, soul sister or anything like but that? But I did not say, hey, soul sister. I wish I did. Uh, I wish I said, hey, soul sister, and then jumped on him. Why, <laughs> the, why the sex streams about Jabage, about uh, John Bon Jovi? I don't know. I, I don't know whether it's, because um, that episode, you know, do you remember he was in Sex and the City? I remember that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when he's in Sex and the City, he's so, like, he's so hot and it's so funny because they meet in a um, therapist's office and then they have sex and then she goes, oh, I forgot to ask you, like, why are you in therapy? And he's like, oh, because as soon as I have sex with someone, I completely lose interest. Oh. I completely lose interest. Wow. And rolls over. And I just think it's the funniest scene ever. <laughs> so not anything to do with his music. <laughs> just because he was in Sex in the City. I just want to no. make sure that I'm hearing that, that no, right. No, right? that's not the point. I love all his music. I love all his songs. But he looks like he did in that bed with Carrie Bradshaw in my dreams. <laughs> that's fair. That's a fantasy. So, you make it your own. Uh, did you have sex with Adam Ant? Did I have sex? Did I have no answer. <laughs> Sorry? No, now's the time to let it go. Um, oh, my God. I it's knew, frozen. I, let I it go. I was waiting for this. He's like, oh, have you sang for anyone famous? Even though he knew right before we did I the didn't show. I didn't know. We don't pre-show. We don't do anything he here. He knew. He no, knew. No. And he's trying to frame me. No, I don't know anything. Do don't know anything. I don't. I, mo I, I don't, mostly speak to people in I, Braille. I slide in Braille across the counter. I don't fucking tell. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. I didn't even ask you about Kiss. <laughs> you just went to fucking tell. You said, did I have sex with Adam Ant? Yeah, yeah, but I, fucking tell is a little graphic. We don't talk like that on this show. Oh, I'm Not so sorry. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Jay, Jared does anal. I might have kissed him. Jared, Jared doesn't do anal and tell, and that's his whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, the, that's the only to thing me, I won't tell my mom. It's not done to me, and then I tell. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if yeah. I do it to them, then I talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty but years later, the will be a But you don't even listen. Give I was all. gonna wear that that Bill Clinton shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Would you oh, fuck God. Bill Clinton? Would I fuck? I don't know. I've been so. I, ladies, <laughs> ladies love him, dude. They I, love him. Like, He's honestly, a ladies man. Honestly, like, like for me, I've been attracted to people that I would never thought I would be attracted to. It's a feeling. You feel so, there's people that I'm like fuck. I wish I fancied them. Who's that? And I don't. I was like, no, it's not like it's not like a famous person that I can name. But there's been people that I'm like, I find them 
hilarious. We get on so amazing. They would treat me like a princess and I just can't feel it. And there's fucking homeless men that I just want to fucking rip their clothes off. Do you know what I mean? You just don't know. <laughs> yes. So I haven't been around Bill Clinton to see if he's that sexy. But if you want to invite him, I'll let you know. So can I tell you in Hollywood, my, my, one of my, oh God, I, I'll just say it was, it's a good friend. I'm not going to say who it is. His biggest sexual fantasy was to, to pick up a homeless girl right off of the 101, right up there by Gower. You know exactly ah, what ah, I'm talking about. I know exactly what Clean her up, about. spend the night with her, like feed her, get her back on her feet, shower her up, have sex with her, and then give her back to the world with like $100. That would be a really good like modern day pretty woman. Totally. And, yeah. and so I was just like, man, what's to stop you from doing something like this? Well, they're like, yeah, I don't think that it, it, it's funny just because I, like, I recently was at... Um, <coughs> A, a, a wedding where it was like almost bless you it was yeah. almost like a high school reunion because i like bumped into a lot of um girls that i haven't seen in like 10 12 years oh no two years sorry yeah don't date yourself and, yeah, yeah, yeah don't date yourself um and and they were like all just telling everyone that i was a prostitute and i was like fuck i wish i was a prostitute I have sex with terrible men for free. <laughs> <I'm a fox>. <laughs> 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 I wish funny. that was the case. Yeah. But it's true. Like I've, I've been not like, it's, I have this whole fixer thing. I don't know where it's come from. And I think it, I, I want to try and find like a, a good reasoning for it. And it's that I see the good in people. Sure. So I like to see that it's that rather than that I'm really fucked up in the head. <laughs> Maybe you see the tragedy in people and you want to be the good in their lives. Well, yeah, I, well, I think they see that and I am the good in their life. But yeah, I don't know what my reasoning is for it. And I do feel like LA is trying to make me a jaded bitch and I'm refusing to allow it to do that. And we appreciate that. Thank we do. you. We also appreciate you making it through the entire show sober without walking out wow. on us. I know. It's, it's I haven't amazing. even finished my like second. Well, this is like my one and a half drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Georgie, yeah. this is the point in the show where we get to the drinking bro the week um so this is somebody that inspired you or helped you or you looked up to or, or somebody that you look up to in this life someone you want to shout out yes my dad oh that's Aww, a good one that's sweet yeah. that's always a good sweet. one my yeah. dad's the best man on earth like honestly i can't even expect like he's the person that when i'm down will be like georgie remember you've done this 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 and this and this and this you're amazing. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, he's just amazing. His, um, so he grew up in Eltham, and his name's John. And he used to ride around in his, um, on it, like, on his, like, in, with his Parker on his little moped um, with, a, with a Parker jacket that said Eltham John. And he always says that Elton John must have seen it and stole his name. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad is Elton John. You spell Elton E L T H A M John, and I actually I finally got him Instagram, and he's very entertaining. If anyone wants to follow him, Elton that John actually five. sounds really funny. Yeah, yeah. it is. That's he really is get him no, some coffee. He honestly is the 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 best. I'm I'm like so blessed. To, like, he's just the best man on earth. Well, dude, you're the best. Where can everybody find you on social media? Um, so it's Georgie Leahy. Do I have to spell it all? Yeah, G E O R G I E. L E A for Apple H Y. For some reason, when I say A, people see I, hear I, or something. Yeah, I yeah. Know. yeah. Hmm. So Georgie Leahy on. Can you um, spell that in the phonetic alphabet? What does phonetic mean? <laughs> 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 Flunk <Never>. coat. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Are, you, are, you, are you trying to explain gluten again? Because yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get gluten. So. No, not at but all. But yeah, on Twitter, Instagram, and georgieleahy.com. And, and it's um, always yeah. nude photos of you, by the way, all the time. I'm just naked all the time. Yeah. But it's just, and I, yeah, it is, it is sometimes. It's hilarious, though. Sometimes no, I, no hilarious. DM sliding until noon. After. Yeah. yeah. No, afternoon, they give me some dick videos, whatever you want. But no. <laughs> <laughs> videos or pictures? Uh, boomerangs like are great. Shit. I love yeah. a boomerang. Yeah. Things. Videos. <laughs> <Back in laughs> videos. You want a dick boomerang? I don't think you've ever seen that. No. Yeah. Welcome but to the new world. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, I am naked all the time. And I do. I like. I to end on. I don't understand why that is because I have the biggest wardrobe of life. I realized recently. I was like, I'm not shopping anymore. And what was my realization was I was looking at my house, and I was like, Georgie, if you wore nine different outfits every day for the rest of your life, you would still not wear everything you own. Mm. 
even if you live to like 107. So yeah. you need to fucking stop. And you're naked all the time. So what the fuck? <laughs> You've got so many clothes for. I, I have seven wardrobes in my house and they're all filled up. There's plenty of homeless people out there looking to fuck. Oh, I mean, looking true. to give clothes to. So. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. Maybe I should stop fucking homeless people and just start giving Get, them clothes. Give them clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, since, since mean, start making them, stop letting them put it in me and start like making them stylish. That's a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. by, by the way, my friend fucked that homeless girl. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, oh, he yeah. did. Oh, I'm glad you ended on that. Thought we'd end it on a high note. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. For Georgie Lady, <laughs> Evan Hay, for Jared Taylor, Matt Bass, and Ross Patterson. I snorted yeah. again. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>